Moving out of softball in the Super Regional Tournaments, two teams make it from each region, and the two teams that made it from the Region 4 last year battling in the first round this year. Let's go to Beulah. It's Minor v. Miners. And it's a good start on the mound for Beulah's Addison Dale Geiger. As we see three Wilton batters go down on strikes, a great first inning from the eighth grader. Moving to the bottom of the first, Ava Seibel chopping one through the left side. A run comes home, and it's Beulah that draws first blood, one to nothing. Wilton in a jam. But a heads-up play from Justice Booz to get the unassisted double play at first. That ends the inning with the bases loaded. Beulah would cash in later, though, winning 18 to nothing. Traveling back in time, first game of the day between Velva and Hazen. In the first, Aggies already up 8-1. Olivia Passa able to make it double figures in the frame of liner down the left field side. 10-1 Aggies. Looking for more against the Bison. Berkeley Selzler able to launch it over the center fielder's head. Add a few more to the scoreboard. It was all Velva Drake Animus. They move on 28-1. Art River. Washburn center Stanton in the 4-5 matchup. In the second, Cougars trail 1-0. Really bolts. Putting it in play out of the second, but the throw wide at first, and Sage Leco ties it up at one. Washburn bats traveled west. Ashland Smith, a grounder at the middle. There you see Kalen Clintworth putting on the Jets to give the Cardinals the lead again. Washburn pulls off the upset over the Cougars, winning 18 to seven. Central McLean wins their opening round matchup over Hardy Harvey, 16 to four. Changing gears to softball in Region Three. Renville County facing Divide County. Top of the first, Ginger Savickle getting the call for the Muskrats. A good a three up, three down inning for her there. Bottom of the inning. Pat's hot for Renville County. Addison Mock drives on the left field. RBI stand up double. Muskrats up eight to nothing. Renville County going to roll on to win 21 to nine. Rugby Panthers taking on the Ray Jays. Fourth inning, rugby up 5 4. Jays Cadence Sargent. Drives it back up the middle. Runner scores to tie the game at five. Bottom of the inning. Panthers with runners on. Brooke Anderson hits it to left field, giving Rugby the lead seven to six with an RBI single. Rugby would walk it off, winning 15 to 14. How about DLB taking on Tioga? First inning, Lakers with runners on. Kalen Bachmeyer drives it to right field, ends up on third, and two runs in. DLB up two nothing. Bases loaded now for the Lakers. Laney Wahoos going to hit it to left field. It's going to roll all the way to the fence for a stand-up triple. It's 8-0 now. Lakers putting up 32 runs, winning 32-7. Bono wins 14-4 over Glenburn. And then both games on the elimination side going late, so no scores there. WDA softball playing games. Century able to beat Turtle Mountain 15-1. Williston defeats Watford City 23-3. On the baseball side of things, Williston moves on with a 3-2 win over Watford City. Bismarck and St. Mary's postponed due to tomorrow at 5 due to weather.